Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'm going to share with you how to do text crumble effect in DaVinci Resolve. Let's check it out. Alright, so in DaVinci Resolve right now on the edit page and first off we're going to bring a new fusion composition in our timeline. So here, effect, effect, fusion composition. We drag that in the timeline and now we can move over to the fusion page. And here I'm just going to bring a text node in the workspace and I'm just gonna link it to map media out and now we can start working on it. So I'm just gonna write DaVinci Resolve here for the demonstration. And now that I've wrote my text, I'm just gonna right click on it and I'm gonna go down here and select text scramble. It just unlock right here the modifier and in the modifier I can now play with those parameter here we're gonna play with the randomness so basically if you're moving the randomness around as you can see uh, it just bring random character uh, instead of the text that we have and it choose those character from the substitute character right here so you can just select uh, whatever character you want to be replaced for example if you want to add some hiragana Japanese writing uh, some Russian letter from the Russian alphabet or whatever you can just do that right there and you can add whatever letter you would like uh, to be replaced here and randomize here so for example right now I'm just gonna bring the randomness down to zero I'm gonna remove all the small cap on this one and I want to bring some Japanese letters so I'm just gonna uh, open Google and I'm gonna tap Iragana which is basically some uh, Japanese alphabet and here I'm just gonna select a couple letters for example and I'm gonna just copy that, go back to DaVinci Resolve, and I'm just gonna paste that right here. Now I've repeated the process a couple of times, so now I have some letter from the Aragana alphabet in Japanese, I have some number, and I have some letter. So now we can start to make the animation to randomize. Again, play along with it and add whatever you wish uh, in that substitute character. So here, if I do the randomize, as you can see though, there is an issue is that here the Japanese sign are not recognized. Make sure that you choose here a font uh, that got your sign uh, recognized, whatever you know you choose to add in it. So for example, this font, I know that there is some Japanese hiragana recognized within it. So I'm just gonna select that and I'll be fine. Now that I've selected the right font, I'm gonna go back to my modifier and here the random the more you add it, the more uh, letters are going to disappear. If I do it just a tiny bit here, for example, those letters, as you can see, will uh, never change. So you want to bring the randomness to at least, I will say, depending on your sentence, but at least like above six or seven. Uh, so, you know, all the letters are replaced. Now, if you were to just let it like that, as you can see, it's just going to continue to be a loop, an infinite loop of randomness. Uh, but we can obviously animate that and make it stop at some point uh, to reveal the word that we have right here. But if that's something that you would like to just have, you know, for example, in the background, you have no need for animation, you can just do that and let it run in the background and it will just continue to run in loop. Right now, however, I'm just gonna animate it. So we're gonna go to frame 25. I'm just gonna double click on the randomness right here to reset it to zero. Uh, here, I'm just gonna add one keyframe there. I'm gonna go back to frame zero and here I'm gonna bring the randomness to about seven. And already right here, we got our animation where it's randomly searching for the letter and then it stop. Now I'm just gonna add a little bit more to the animation with a size and an opacity animation. So we're gonna go back to tools. Here I'm gonna go back to frame 25 uh, and I'm gonna leave one keyframe on the size. We're gonna go over to shading and I'm gonna leave one keyframe on the opacity and then we can go back to frame zero. I'm gonna bring the opacity uh, down to zero and then we're gonna go back to text and bring the size down to maybe three or four, something like that. Now, if we play it, I'm happy with that. We're just gonna make some adjustment to the animation. I'm gonna go over to the spline editor. I'm gonna select text. And here I'm gonna unselect a styled uh, randomness because I don't want to make any adjustment to that. I just want to make some adjustment in timing with the opacity and the size. So let's just click right here. We're gonna select both of them. Then we're gonna hit the letter S to smooth out that curve. Then we're gonna hit the letter T to bring the ease in and ease out. And we're gonna bring them uh, both at about 80 right there. Now I'm gonna unselect the opacity and I'm gonna bring just the size to be finished a bit later. So I want the size to be finished around maybe frame 35 or frame 40. 
um, to keep the momentum of when the randomness is done. So I'm just gonna select the last point right here, all the key shift on my keyboard, and then I'm just gonna drag that to frame 35. I'm holding the key shift, so the key frame not moving around here in terms of value, and it's just moving around in terms of timing. So it's gonna move horizontally, but it will not be able to move vertically. So that's just a quick tip right there. And now if we play it, we get the scrumble text animation that we were looking for. Now we just need to adjust a bit the design. So for example, here, I would like to go for something that looks a bit like Matrix or like a military log or whatever. So I would recommend you to play along with the font. Uh, that's something that's gonna dictate a lot the look of uh, your animation. Uh, you know, if you choose something that is very stylized, for example, uh, that's something that can help. It's like alarm clock font, for example, that's something that could just create a style. Um, but here we just gonna make a change with the glow and the color. So I'm gonna switch the color to green because you know, it looks a bit more like the Matrix. And here we're gonna add some glow. So I'm gonna hit Shift Space on my keyboard with uh, the text one selected. And here we're gonna search for glow. And then we're just gonna add the glow right here. And we can make some adjustment to the glow. I think it's fine as it is. I'm just gonna bring a bit up the glow size. Here we go. And now if we play it, we get something that looks a bit more digital and that looks a bit better in my opinion. And that's pretty much it. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments what kind of video you would like to see next. And see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transitions and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.